today we're going to talk about financial planning. Um, this is obviously a critical topic to uh, your continued success and your continued level of comfort with your everyday life going forth until the end of your career and beyond. So we don't want to just wing that. We brought in an expert. This is Bruce Henning. He's from a group in Charlotte called the Professional Planning Group. He's been uh, in financial planning for 29 years, yeah. so he is an expert. So let's start. The first broadest question, uh, in medicine you want to know what you can't do. Right. So what are the five mistakes that you see young doctors making, the critical things that we should avoid? Wow, good question. Um, I would say the top five would be, the first one is not having a financial plan at all. Uh, just winging it, Move, moving through, just trying to get it done, you know, on the cuff and not having an actual plan. Uh, best thing to do is get a plan and work your plan. The second is, once you start getting paid, having um, the idea that you're going to spend and save money second. And we just know from lots of experience that just doesn't work. There's no money left over at the end of the month. Uh, and it just happens and next thing you know, you're year by year and you haven't saved any money. So get a plan, save first to meet your goals, and spend second. And with that, you really live in guilt free because what you're spending you can feel comfortable about. It works, do it. Third is, don't, ha don't buy too big a home. Um, I have just seen so many physicians end up being a slave to their home and, um, and just regretting it. So uh, be, be smart about the first home you buy and the size and how much you spend by, you know, with that home. And then fourth is oftentimes physicians won't have the, either the right kind or enough of the right kind of disability or life insurance. So we, we definitely want, that's the foundation of a financial plan. It may you know, feel expensive initially, but it is the foundation, so you know, get that part right. And then last is building a good team of advisors. Um, it's just critical that you, 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 know, you find the right, you know, the right people to help you that you're comfortable with. Um, having people that you trust uh, to guide you through the, through the years and doing your financial planning is just all important.